Well, good morning to you all. It is Friday, and somebody told me no one cared about that, but you still know what that means. Welcome along to episode number 89, our final season with Alfa Romeo on F1 Manager 23. Hope you are all having a great day, wherever it is you are in the world. And without further ado, I think we should go to the Bahrain Grand Prix, and I think we should go and see how Lando and Pierre do with the Alfa Romeo. Because this it, this is going to be the season, folks. This is going to be the season. We win everything. I make that promise to you now. We're going to win things. And we're going to win big. Yeah, that, uh, that all uh, reset there. But we did have some driver transfers. Uh, Joe went to Alpine. After he uh, decided to leave us. Go reunite with uh, Valtteri Bottas. We got uh, new boys in uh, F1 in the form of Liam Lawson and Richard Vaucher. So it's looking like it's going to be a good season. We've got some good upgrades on the car. We've got some good upgrades in the team. Hopefully, hopefully he says, we're going to uh, we're going to do well. So. Uh, we're going to get uh, practice with uh, with the boys. And I'll see you on the other side of this for the first session of qualifying. And we'll see where the where the new look Alfa Romeo is. I've got a feeling the new look Alfa Romeo is, um, yeah, going to put Red Bull to a bit of shame. All right, then. Let's get on to Q1. Let's get on to Q1 and see how, uh, let's see how they both do. And I've got a feeling if practice uh, was anything to go by, we're going to be doing uh, big things. We're going to be doing very big things. And we're going to be doing uh, very good things at the same time. I can feel it. Practice one, Lando. <laughs> yeah, Lando whipped it out straight away. Um, Terraport chair was fastest in uh, practice two with us five and seven. And then in practice three, it was four and five with Oscar Piastri uh, fastest. What was the one de denomination you noticed about all of those practice sessions? That's right, Red Bull were nowhere. But you know, don't don't tell Red Bull that uh, they were nowhere, because you know they they don't need to know. They they don't we they don't need to know. Okay, we're here to do our thing, and our thing is win. Now, what I should point out as well. Uh, this goes live, I think it is on. Let me uh, double check when this uh, goes live for you all. I think I remember when this uh, goes live. It goes live on the 14th of June, I believe. So that there is going to be an overlap period. As uh, We've got a yellow flag out there. Is it uh, uh, for Tier 4 J? On. Yes, it is. And that that is so easy to do, run that wide at turn 9 for turn 10. So easy to do. He, he, should, be, he should not um, hold his uh, head, hands in his um, face with that one. That, that's an easy... To, even the best do that sometimes. But yeah, there is going to be a bit of an overlap between F1 Manager 23 and F1 Manager 24. So when it comes out on... I think it's the 23rd of July it comes out. Don't be surprised if you don't see it straight away, but it will be coming to the channel. And I have the feeling as well, it's probably going to take over as the one and only game once we finish uh, PGA Tour, get that out of the way. Anyway, Lando only 14th. Where's Gasly? Lando's in the drop zone now. I'm trying to look for Gasly. Oh, there he is, P18. So we're going to need some uh, improvements here from the both. Lando, though, is not improving in the middle sector. Don't tell me it's going to be embarrassment at Bahrain again. Lando has not improved. Gasly has to P11. He's knocked Lando out. Why did it? Wow. This is enough. This is enough. Who saw that coming? And, the, and it may not be over there. We may be out uh, completely here if... Uh, no, we're, we're not out uh, completely. But Lando Norris. Pierre Gasly has just walked into this team. And, um... Yeah. 
He's absolutely whipped it out and slapped it down on the table straight away. And also out goes Perez, Joe, De Vries and Richard Vaucher. Okay, let's get on to Q2 with the car we didn't want to see. Okay then, on to Q2. And if you expected Pierre Gasly to be uh, the driver we're concentrating on uh, for the rest of this session, uh, put your hands up. And I imagine nobody's hand went up straight away. I imagine so. I, I bet you thought we'd have Lando and Gasly here. But nope, it is not how it has gone down. It's just Pierre. So this is, in a way, Pierre's time to shine, isn't it? Let's get that Red Bull out of the way. It got out of the way very nicely. Thank you very much. Let's see how Pierre does. He's got purple, purple. We got purplebricks.com in um, in qualifying, and here he comes to the line. And Pierre Gasly will go with a 29. Wow. That's one of those, uh, how do you do, whip it out, slap it down on the table laps. Is he, he going to improve on his uh, second lap? Pierre Gasly does not improve on his second lap. Currently sat in P1. And here okay, comes Verstappen. So <laughs> here, please. And so. Sonoda, wow, Sonoda out of nowhere. Hello, Sonoda. I think that lap's good enough, you know. Going to sit in here. Do nothing. Put the feet up. Read the paper. I think that lap there is good enough. I, I personally think that that lap is is good enough. We got it in nice and early. <clears throat> and it looked wow, Liam Lawson uh, doing well in P10. Tell poor chair in P11. Look at those cars that because uh, they're beating science out there, and they have beat so Wow, Carlos Sainz is out. Oscar Piastri went uh, faster, so Pierre Gasly uh, P4, so we got those laps in early to uh, get it done nicely. We lose Kevin Magnussen, Leon Lawson, Tony Giovinazzi, and uh, Teo Porcher, and uh, Carlos Sainz. Interesting. Okay, on to Q3. I, I, I knew we'd get to Q3, I just imagined both cars would be here. But it seems like only uh, one car is here. And that uh, that is the car of Pierre Gasly. So, let, let's see what he does. Okay, I'll be interested to see what he does. We're going to hold on to the end of the session. And see and see how it goes. See see indeed how it goes. Also, uh, I'd like to... Um, before we get uh, into it, I'd like to issue a personal apology to each and every one of you for the content over the last few weeks. I am in the process right now of undoing the damage that a certain site has done. That is on me for listening to them, for taking their advice, and I apologize to you for that. Because they tried to get me to change the content to how they liked it. Which is, which is not right. Anyway, we'll, we'll, I'll address that in a, another video, uh, probably a Trades in World, as we head down to Turn 1. Pierre Gasly, just P10 at the moment, into Turn 1, turns nice and easy into Turn 1, now into Turn 2, Turn 3, nothing corner. DRS will pop wide open for uh, the run-up to Turn 4. He did go purple, yellow, purple, but was only good enough for P10. That middle sector was absolutely god-awful as we head down to Turn 6. Six, seven, down the hill into turn eight. Oh, lovely turn in on the apex. A little bit more curve than I wanted there from uh, turn eight. Yellow in the middle, first sector. Turn nine, then turn ten. Oh, I thought he'd run wide there, but he got the braking just right in Pierre. It's, it's kind of a reunion of F122. Is uh, myself and Pierre for those uh, in the know, for those who do know. Into turn 11 now. Turn 11 sweeps wide up the hill for turn 12. And then when you get to turn 12, it's hard on the brakes for turn 13. Green in the middle sector. I imagine he's going to be green in the middle sector. Because there, there's going to be so much improvement. It's Leclerc on pole from Verstappen. Only just from Verstappen. There's a nice little gap that I want to swing the uh, car as we go to turn 14, turn 15, nothing corner, run wide over the rumble strip to the line. Pierre Gasly, what did you just do? 
people. That's what I'm talking about, baby. P4. P4, we take that all day, every day. Absolutely fantastic lap from the Frenchman. In the Swiss-based Italian team. Yeah, we're, we're truly international. <laughs> Speaking of truly international, it looks like uh, the international incident at the front. Uh, Leclerc is uh, beat Verstappen. And he's only just beat Verstappen. Let's go get ready for the race then. All right, on to the uh, race strategy then. We got 100% confidence for Pierre Gasly in the car, 99% confidence for Lando in the car, but uh, that still doesn't uh, understand why he's in P17. Now, traditionally, it's a two-stop. And what we're going to do is we are going to push the envelope a little bit. There we go. You can push these tyres to the brink of insanity and the tyres will love you. And if anyone's good with their tyres, it's going to be Lando. And we mean it's going to be Lando. Only two seconds faster, though. Only. You wouldn't uh, have thought that uh, that would be the case. Right, let's take... Uh, should we take some fuel out or not? Yeah, let's take... Um, a couple laps of fuel out. We don't need to say I'm going to try something different here. I'm going to try something different. Now, Pierre, we're going to do the same with Pierre. It's going to be interesting to see what Pierre's like um, saving uh, Yeah, so they're talking about uh, YouTube next door themselves. So, um Good look out there, guys. Why have I got something coming up at the end of this video here? I've got something coming up at the end of this video here I don't like. But yeah, good luck guys, out there, guys. Let's try and get Lando to the front of the field. And let's... Let's just have ourselves a decent race for once in our lives. Here in Sakir, the floodlights are on. And it's nearly time for 57 laps around the Bahrain International Circuit. And for Lando Norris, this is another chance to see what he can do in this car. A 17th place start leaves them with a lot of ground to make up. They could still get back to the front though. Right, let's get to it then. And this is it, the Bahrain Grand Prix. And it's lights out. And away we go! Alrighty then. I have just woken up, so we need to uh, get some uh, some Jesus uh, juice down me. Do we need to get uh, back to uh, what we needed to do beforehand. And that was making good content. I'll not have uh, others try and destroy the channel like I believe they have. I, I am. I'm going to undo literally all of the damage the vid IQ have done. <sighs> there we go. Now that I've got that down me, we should be uh, good and golden. And hopefully Pierre Gasly is uh, going to be good and golden as well. Because I have a feeling he's going to do very, very well for me today. And I mean very, very, very well. He could do well, but then again at the same time he could not do well. It's it's kind of a thing with uh, with Pierre, at, um, certainly with F1 24 at Manager 22. <coughs> he was literally all over the place. You never know which uh, Pierre Gasly was going to turn up. And then with the Pierre Gasly that did turn up, he would either be brilliant or he'd be absolutely rubbish. So let's see which Pierre Gasly actually turns up this season. Because I, I have uh, the awful feeling that we may have gambled in the wrong direction. But anyway, let's get on with it. Let's uh, let's do some good things. And uh, yeah. Okay, lap two. Piastri's past Gasly now. See what I mean? Car of Piastri. You don't know which. Uh, the opportunity begging to be taken. Oh, I tell you what, into turn 10. 
into turn 10. That is a very, very good move. I like that move. Well, well done, Oscar. Okay, Albon's now overtaken. See what I mean? I'm hoping this is just the fact we're on the slower tyre. Can they squeeze by? Well, it wants to be... Uh, it wants to be the fact that we're on the slower tyre. I'm hoping it's the fact that we're on the slower tyre. Please be on the slower tyre. Okay, Perez overtakes Norris. Yeah, Norris is uh, struggling down in P16, round the outside of turn 11. Up the hill through turn 12. He's going to get him through 13, I would imagine. Yeah, we're, we're starting on the slower tyres. Everyone else is uh, going the opposite direction. So that's fine. We have our strategy and we're going to stick with it. Okay, Let's Ocon now overtakes Gasly. Right, we're taking the second corner. Oh, it's going to be textbook it's down into turn one. He's on the medium, though. Oh, so if he's on the medium, maybe this is uh, a different kind of problem. Maybe our upgrades are not working. Up that takes them to seventh place. Maybe. I'd like to think they are working, though. Okay, Norris overtakes Sainz. Now the focus is on Lando Norris here. So Norris now starting to uh, fire no into turn 11 and gets him up the hill into and turn 12. Great move, move Lando. Good move, good move. That's what we like to see. Okay, we've got to now lock up uh, from Lance Stroll. Now here we are at the final corner. Down in, he's in P3 at the moment, so this is uh, going to help Pierre Gasly brakes. a little bit. Now they did Hopefully it, it helps uh, Pierre. Where's Pierre? Oh, typical. He's nowhere uh, out there. <laughs> but look at this. Free wide down to... Almost free wide down into uh, turn one. Stroll came back. Oh, look at this. Yeah, George Russell around the outside of turn one. Why not? Come on, Pierre. Come on, Pierre. Stick with him. That's it. Good boy. Okay, Norris overtakes Lawson. Now look, here we head into turn two. Liam Lawson uh, the in the house. Ooh, nice. Caught him napping into turn one. Took advantage. Thank you very much. We shall be seeing you. And we'll be seeing you later on, sir. Because why not? Okay, Gasly now takes off. Got Gasly starting to get into a rhythm now. Here. Almost three wide down it's into turn one. Inviting. Well, no, it's not turn one. That's the final corner. Turn 14 and 15. And I imagine he's going to get strolled down Gasly. into turn one. That's going to be the next uh, message. No, no, Norris over takes Teo poor chair. Now, this was the Alfa Romeo. Oh, is he going to take advantage into turn four? Good take Lord, take advantage into turn four. Yes, please. And Lando says, well, thank you That's what much. we're talking about, Lando. That's what we're talking about. Okay, Norris now overtake. Oh, he overtook poor chair again. The opportunity's there. So obviously poor chair took him back. And now Lando's just going to take him down into turn 11 and uh, finish the deal. Up to 12 because that's what Lando does. Lando does good stuff like this uh, some of the time. Norris overtakes Magnuson right now. Take a look now. It's there for the taking. I think what I'm going to do... Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Well, I don't think that's what I'm going to do. I think that's what I have to do. So, have to. Oh, I'm going to yell for... Oh, Norris is swearing. Are you okay? Norris is I swearing. Mean, Why is Lando swearing? It driver. We see that. It's because I think Antonio yeah, Giovinazzi is about to do something stupid. And when we say That's something stupid, I mean something stupid. Now their confidence will have taken a hit with that. Man turned in on him. What are you doing? Oh, while all that was Car high then. The crew in the garage could do yeah. But Everyone knows the words that I want to say at uh, that exact moment. I lost drive oh, he's lost drive. You know, he's got uh, minor front wing damage. Oh, and it's too early for a stop. Oh, God damn it. Damn it, man. Okay, Joe that's Yeah, that, that's karma. That's karma right there for you, sir. Not only do you have, have an issue at the uh, pit stop, you've also got a sticky right rear. And now to tell you all about sticky right rear Zira. <laughs> Go subscribe to uh, Zira the Gaming Guide You. Uh, man, he's, uh, well, at the time of this record, he's playing... Uh, my rise on uh, WWE 2K24 uh, as uh, 
We have Gasly now overtaking Sonoda. So uh, go subscribe to him, you bastards. And tell the Rockstar sent you. It's too early for me to be doing my Australian accent. I, I apologise. I apologise, I suck, etc, etc. Okay, so Noda overtakes Gasly. I think this might be our... I hope this is not our fight or race with uh, Yuki Sonoda. I'd like to be able to... Uh, get up there and fight with uh, the Red Bulls. If it's that. possible to uh, fight with the Red Bulls. Not sure, though. Okay, it's time for Lando to come in for Let's his uh, pit stop. Now we're approaching turn As Gasly two. overtakes uh, Sonoda down into turn one. Good move. Good move there, uh, Lando. Very, very good move. That's what, uh, that is what we are talking about. Yeah, I agree. That was, uh, that was great. Now let's see what, uh, oh, well. We know what the pit crew are up to. Uh, what is going on, Lando, is that uh, somebody's messing up. Yeah, all I can say is sorry. All I can say is sorry. As uh, Gasly defends from Sonoda again. Go away, Yuki. Leave us alone for once in your life. Okay, Norris overtakes Joe Manazzi. This is karma too. Here we are then reaching turn 13. It's certainly inviting. See, this is how you pass someone cleanly there, uh, sir. And Lando says, well, Not how uh, you passed uh, that man out there. Stroll's, lo Stroll's locked look up again. Now, this was at turn one. This is how it's that turn the one, and that's gonna be a by that point, that's gonna be uh, just too late. a tire wrecker right there. That will wreck uh, a set of tires as uh, we see Gasly defended against Sonoda again. Go yell for oh, Lando swearing again. Copy. He's swearing again as Gasly's coming well, in for uh, his stop. Replay. Now the focus is on what's he gonna do down into turn eight? And then the car just oh, he's goes. just lost the back wonder, end. Could they have done anything about <sighs> that? He's just lost the back end of the car. That's not good. Oh! And clearly, then, not what everyone in the garage would have wanted to That's see. That's not good. I think I might retire him. You know. Got other damage that uh, we don't uh, even know about. He's lost uh, positions as well. He's, he's plumb last. There is no way Lando's uh, going to come back from this. See what Gasly uh, comes out on the track. If he can come out, I think he might be coming out right behind uh, this gaggle here. Oh, it's very close into turn one. That's fine. Might cut the corner there. No one saw that. Yeah, what? Uh, I think we'll go retire the car. Yeah, retire Lando. I'm uh, I'm happy with that decision. Retire Lando. Okay, Gasly overtakes Russell. Then. Now this I think was at turn 13. The opportunity. Good move through 11. Good move through 12. And that is going to get that job done. Thank you very much, says uh, Lando. Uh, well, no, it's Pierre Gasly that says it as Russell happened. now overtakes uh, George. George Russell or sorry, George overtakes uh, the gap opens up Pierre. That's up in turn four. But that's one of those that move started back at turn uh, turn 15. Just with uh, momentum and uh, all that. Gasly now back right overtakes then. Russell again as uh, I think Leclerc has set the fast slap of the Grand Gasly Prix. Here. It's there for the I think getting this slower tyre out of the way is going to help us in the long haul. But whether it helps or not, I, I honestly don't really know. Stro Stroll is locked up again for the third time. Now this one involves Stroll. Things look fine For here. the third time, ladies and gentlemen. There goes the steering. They took a gamble. There is something wrong with late. that Aston Martin that he's not telling us and we don't know. Oh, we've got a crash uh, out there involving multiple cars. It's going to be Alex Albon and... Uh, is that Teo Porcher for P3? It is going to be them. In, and there goes Gasly. Mm. See you later. 
<laughs> we'll be seeing ya. Let's go recharge. Okay, it's time for Gasly's uh, second stop. He's about yeah. eight seconds behind uh, the two Red Bulls. Let's see what he does with this uh, second set of uh, soft tyres that we're going to stick on him. It's a take your time stop, 3.9 seconds. Not bad, not bad. Okay, At least there's be been no mistakes on Gasly's side of the garage this time. At least. So let's see what Gasly can do. Because remember, Leclerc and Verstappen, I think, have to stop again yet. Uh, excuse you. Excuse you, we're coming in here. We are coming in here, sir. Carlos Sainz wants to uh, make something of this, don't he? Of course he does. He's Carlos Sainz. That's why he wants to make something of it. Okay, mate. <laughs> Long way to go. It's fine. Let him overtake you because we're going to overtake him back in a second. We're on the better tyres. Don't worry, Pierre. Do not worry. We are absolutely fine. Absolutely fine and dandy with this one. Okay, Gasly overtakes Sainz. Right, we're taking the second corner. The opportunity's Good there. move down into turn one. Excellent move down into turn one. Man, the outside of turn one, in that's fact. That's a good move from Pierre that will, uh, that will get the job done nice and quickly. Okay, now, Gazzy now overtakes. Uh, who is that? Now we're Magnuson. Now. They decide to give it a go. Nice bet Kevin Magnuson to be up that high. Kevin Manson was absolutely that. down at the back last season. Now he's flying for some reason. Okay, Gasly now overtakes Sonoda. Let's have a look then. At Gasly is six. reeling these cars in and one by one. I think Piastri is going to be next. There is no stopping Pierre Gasly at the moment. Well, if there is, someone's going to bring out uh, the titanium bullet to try and stop him. And there you go. Gasly overtakes Let's Piastri. Take then at the 11th corner there's the opening down into turn 11 that's how it's done that right there Up is how it's done and contending for a podium brilliant place. move from Pierre Gasly brilliant move there sir okay stroll stroll for the fourth time the in Martin. this race locks up all right here. for the fourth time and has locked up locks, and that's, that's down in turn 8 the later you leave it he needs to get the brake balance of that car sorted very quickly. Let's Poor chair has now uh, run wide. Down at turn Where's seven. this? This is going to be turn eight and again. Whoa, Jesus Christ, that's turn seven. Well <laughs> no you do car. not want to be running wide there. I am. I assure you, you don't want to be running wide there. The Astri's now locked up. That's going to be the end of uh, his charge to try. Oh, that, uh, that Ferrari's getting very close, isn't it? Into turn 14, we'll yep. Into turn and 14 and 15. And that is uh, the end for uh, that man as well. Okay, final lap of the Grand Prix. Gasly oh, has absolutely been tearing it up down, uh, down here today. He has got within four seconds of the Red Bulls, who are literally fighting each other for, uh, for the race win. And it's, it's been great. It's been great to see this side of uh, Pierre Gasly. And when we say great, we do mean absolutely fantastic. He's come in here and he has done the business. And that is all we could ever ask of Pierre Gasly. No, it's for him to come out here and to do this business. Okay. It's, what we're, it's what we're talking about what we're talking about and not only that you love to see it as well yeah that uh, back marker I assume that's Richard Vaucher yeah look, don't don't fight him Pierre if he wants to come through let him through we're not gonna have uh, this guy ruin our uh, our race here yes that is Richard Vaucher but Pierre doing the right thing with him staying calm in fact that's the Red Bulls just there that is the Red Bulls just there if you can believe it. That right there is the Red Bulls. We're coming out of the final corner. What a debut for Pierre Gasly. It is a podium. And a well-deserved podium at that.
over the finish line. But you're a race winner. winner. And let's hop, no, hope, no, that's and easy for me to say, folks. Flag. Let's Max hope not uh, for the whole season. Winner. Max Verstappen, everyone loves the cheat code. There'll be celebrations tonight. That's what we're uh, talking like about right there. Great the race, round. sir. Great race. And great way, race as well, Pierre. <laughs> love to see it. You absolutely love to see it, sir. Well done. Kind of like Lando did on his debut uh, last year. Did we have Lando last year? I think we did. Yeah, because I had two seasons of uh, Bottas and Joe, didn't I? What a masterclass drive from Pierre Gasly today. That's a well-earned result. From the factory and on the pit wall, that's a podium for the whole team. And you love to see this. The whole team celebrating this magnificent result. It's another career podium for Pierre Gasly, having battled really hard to earn that place. That marks their first podium of the season too. A proud moment. And we've certainly kicked things off in style here at the Bahrain Grand Prix. So then, Karu, in terms of the Alfa Romeo team, how will they be feeling after that? They'll certainly be pleased to have made the podium. A job well done for sure. And that is about that for this weekend's action here in Bahrain. In the next round, we head to the shores of the Red Sea as Formula One returns to Jeddah for the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Well, that is, uh, that is how you uh, do it right there for Pierre Gasly. He finishes P3 on his debut for Alfa Romeo by Max Verstappen. He wins the Bahrain Grand Prix, but if you look down at the bottom there, Guan Yu Zhou for his new outfit, Alpine, they score a point in his debut for Alpine. So Guan Yu Zhou has got to beat Lando Norris. What do you make of that there, folks? No, don't really pay much attention to that because it's only the first uh, race of the season. Yeah, we had no... We, we, we were nowhere with pit stops, were we? We were nowhere. And I mean that. I mean that in the nicest possible way. We were just nowhere. Nowhere, and we uh, we tried as well, and that is going to be 3.6 million in the bank. Brilliant! Let's go uh, wrap it all up then. All right then, Sophia up to 67 rated. We don't particularly care. You have not improved in the way that we uh, required you to prove. Yeah, that was a tough um, Grand Prix for Lando. Very very tough Grand Prix for Lando, but Pierre. Yeah, of course. They, they were absolutely thrilled. And I, I was in thrilled as well. Yeah, look, Lando, a destroyed chassis, a destroyed suspension. Pierre's front wing was destroyed. How did Pierre's front wing get destroyed? I didn't even see what uh, happened there. Right, so I'd go with... Um, uh, what can we do? We can do a suspension, can't we? Or can we? I don't think we can. Oh, dear. Give it, give it a few days. We got, uh... Hang on, no, it said the front wing was destroyed there. What? I think the game uh, had a derp moment. I think the game obviously had a bit of a derp moment. All right, let's, um... Get this pit crew... Sorted. Do you know what? It wasn't a bad first showing for the pit crew. It could have been better, but not uh, not bad. That's that's all we'll say on the matter. Not bad. We're going to concentrate on getting. Um, let's concentrate on this wheel gun. I want to try and get uh, the pit stops faster. If we're able to uh, get the pit stops faster, I don't know if uh, we're going to be able to uh, do that or not. We got to do something. Then again, we're not ha exactly having um, spectacular pit stops uh, in our own right, are we? 
All right then, um, guys. I think that's uh, the perfect time to uh, end the video. Hope um, hope you did enjoy that first racing. Uh, if you did, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you've not already done so. Playlists have appeared all around. Go check out some more Rockstar Pool 69 content at your viewing pleasure. But in the meantime, stay safe. Be kind to each other. You can't be kind to crap. No place in the world can't be kind to other people. I will see you tomorrow. I believe it's Trains in World tomorrow, isn't it? Let me, uh, let me just check. I think it is. And indeed it is. Trains in World, Southeast and High Speed, tomorrow.